color is Epsilon Emerald. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to open up this really cute Pokemon card tip. I'm not sure what the official name is for this. It's something like Kanto Collector's Tin. Cookie. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a whole set of them. There's like eight different ones. And if you put them together, Cookie. Don't do that. If you put them all together, it makes a picture. So this is part of a scene that I just got this one because it's got Eevee on it, which is one of my favourite Pokemon. It's a really nice sized tin. I think it would hold a deck perfectly, although maybe not if it was in sleeves. favorites in the palm of your hand. In this mini tin you'll find two Pokemon TCG booster packs, one metallic Pokemon coin, a Pokemon art card showing the art from this mini tin. You can collect and combine all five. Oh, there's only five. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, I should have got scissors. This will be hard. Oh, no, it's not too bad. I love her, but she's so annoying. Okay, let's open up this tin. Oh, I thought it was hinged. We've got a Alolan Ninetales coin, which um, I actually already have this coin. I think it was in the last blister pack I got. But it's still quite nice. Six of these, no, five of these, 
make it stick them together to make a picture. Although I don't know why, f why it's five. Do they go all in a line? Oh yeah, they do. They go all in a line. That's quite nice. Kind of reminds me of um, the what's that set called? It was called like Tropical Island. No, what was it called? It was a really nice set, very very long time ago. It was like second generation, and all of the cards were like pieces of the same big picture. It was called the something. Was it? Is a really nice set. I don't have it, but you can buy a complete set for about a hundred pounds on eBay. And I've been tempted so many times to buy it because it's so nice. Okay. And now we've got some boost packs. So we've got a burning shadow. Fates Collide. Wow. They must have printed way too many of these. Because these are like three years old. <laughs> nah, okay, maybe not that old. Actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. They're pretty old though. <laughs> So, two and a half years old, probably. Let's open Burning Shadows first. Simi Sage Oily Bead Guzma Graceful Our reverse hollow is a Simi Paw and our rare from this pack oh, Let's just be well. to the other pack. Got 
Wisma. I used to have a deck based on rank. Fates Collide was actually one of my favourite eras. Well, it's not an era, but you know what I mean. Like, Fates Collide was the time when I was really playing Pokemon, like, quite competitively. Well, okay, Round is not a competitive deck, but I was playing it, I was really into it. Yeah, I was really into it. And I came up with some really fun decks. They weren't, like, super competitive, but they were fun. Fennekin definitely featured in my favourite deck of this time, which was my Delphox Break deck. I loved that. Oh wow, okay, I also had a deck with Solosis and Duosion and Reuniclus with their mini link, um, double link and triple link or whatever they're called. I used to love that deck. Oh wow, that's... It's such a blast from the past seeing those three together. <laughs> oh wow, this is really weird. Okay, I also had a deck with Snivy in it because I had this amazing Superior deck. Um, it was actually Superior and Yan Mega combined into a deck. And it worked really well because Superior only needed one energy and Yan Mega doesn't need any energy. Didn't have a deck with me after. Energy reset. There's the Servine I used to use. Really good ability. What was really good about this ability is that since you have Forest of Giant Plants, you can evolve as much as you like. Like, you don't have to wait a turn. And you can use Devolution Spray as well. So you can evolve again. So you can devolve and evolve, devolve and evolve, and you don't have to wait a turn because of forest of giant plants. We have Shauna. Our first holo is a seal. And I think we got a GX. No, EX. I think we got an EX because I can kind of see. But which one is it? I can see a little bit of yellow. Um, what was even in this set? Was it this like Zygarde? Yeah. Who else was in that? Umbreon? Oh, could it be Umbreon? Let's just see. Oh, there's Mega Altaria. I knew that was in this set, but I didn't think there would be yellow in Mega Altaria. Okay, I did also make a deck <laughs> with Mega Altaria, but it wasn't very good. I just, I really like this Pokemon, so. I actually really miss the EXs. I think they look so cool. I actually don't really like the way the GXs look, personally, although most people do. Let me just get some sleeves. Good pull. Do cards fit in here in sleeves? Yes, they do. Perfect fit. Yeah, I think it's a really nice little tin for storing cards or storing decks. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you stay tuned for more Pokemon card videos, Pokemon video game videos, and other random stuff that sounds nice. 
Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.